Now, my golly, killing kids in Bulgaria. Yes, it's what Iranian fascists do, isn't it? Iran is at the centre of much of international terror, and you can bet your bottom dollar that they or their, their boy toys, Hezbollah, murdered Israelis on holiday this time round. So how are we to deal with the, what, racist, homophobic, fascistic, imperialist, insane state of Iran? Well, the Iranian regime claims that they will have nuclear weapons very soon, and, and generally people think that is true a couple of years or so. Well, we know they want to kill people. I mean, they, they've tried to buy Pakistan's nuclear arsenal, you know, by, by paying, did you know this, the entire Pakistani defense budget for 10 years. Give us the nukes and we'll pay for all of this. We're equally sure that they'd use the bomb if they got it. So perhaps, perhaps the good guys may have to act first and to conduct a preemptive strike in the name and in the cause of preserving lives. I'm sorry, but it may sound paradoxical, but just think about this. If we could have assassinated Hitler, remember him, in 1933, if, if we could have destroyed the, the Panzer factories in 1938, would we not have been wise and moral to do so? Look, uh, beyond the potential nuclear capability of Iran, let's look at their, their conventional arsenal. Uh, there, there are the Shahab 3ER missiles with a range of more than 2,000 kilometers. The BM-25 and accompanying launchers, which are so powerful, they can actually hit targets in Europe from Iran. Then there are the, the RAD missiles with a range of 350 kilometers, or, or the MISAC anti-aircraft missiles, which can be fired from the shoulder. <laughs> the Fajar 3 radar evading missile and the Ajdar underwater missile, which travels at an extraordinarily high speed and, and is virtually impossible to intercept. Ah, then we go on, the, the Zaltal and the Fatah 110 rockets, the Scud-B and the Scud-C, and the BM-25s with a range of, of, of uh, more than 3,000 kilometers. Iran is also developing enormous, enormous ballistic missiles and began a space program, believe it or not, more than a decade ago, that will enable it to bomb the United States of America. It's also assumed in informed intelligence circles that Tehran has Russian KH-55 cruise missiles stolen from Ukraine which are now being copied in large numbers by scientists in Iran. So it's pretty bad stuff, isn't it? In a way, the comparison to the Nazis in the 1930s, it's, it's unfair to the Nazis. Hitler had the French army, the largest in Europe, on his border, and also millions of Soviet infantry just a few hours' march away. Iran has no aggressive enemies in the entire region, and, of course, Syria uh, about to crumble. Iran's fanatical leader, Mr. Ahmadinejad, controls a brutal police state, finances international terror, and provokes bloody wars in foreign countries. It is unimaginably wealthy because of its oil revenues and is committed, in its leader's words, to rolling back 300 years of Western ascendancy and wiping another nation, Israel, from the face of the earth. We need, as a civilized people, to do all that we can to topple this evil regime by peaceful means but the Iranian people tried to do that, didn't they? And the results of the election were ignored and innocent people were just murdered in the street. If there is an attack on Iran, the usual suspects will complain, of course, the, you know, the, the, the post-Christian churches, the Marxists, the fellow travelers, the Muslim fanatics and, and the fifth columnists in media. But then the same sort of people moaned and condemned in 1938. They were clearly wrong then. They will be just as wrong now. If you want to cozy up to the Nazis in Iran, explain that, please, to the mums and the dads of those dead Israeli children.